Hi, David Brandon here, founder and managing lawyer at Resolute Legal. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, what qualifies as a workplace injury in Nova Scotia? So after watching this video, you will know when you have an injury that could qualify you for workers' compensation and a bit about what you need to do as the next step after that. Now, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us your comments as we love to get comments and we will respond to you. What qualifies as a workplace injury in Nova Scotia? If you have a workplace injury, in most cases, it's mandatory that you pursue any type of claim against that injury through the workers' compensation system. But how do you know if your injury is counted as, as a workplace one or not? So there are three things we need to look at. Number one, it has to be an injury that requires some level of medical attention. It can't just be a little bump where there's nothing at all. There needs to be some level of medical attention and medical attention is kind of broadly defined here. So that could include going to the doctor, but medical attention might require getting first aid at the workplace or something like that as well. So there, if there's some level of medical attention that has been given to you, that would be one of the requirements for a workplace injury. Now, the second part is that it needs to be tied to your work. So the injury has to happen in the course of your work on your employer's property, and it, it has to be really tied with your day-to-day -day job and or in the physical kind of workplace of your employer. So that that raises a lot of questions nowadays if you're working remotely and these types of things. So but keep in mind, if the injury happens during the course of your work or you're on your employer's property, those types of injuries can be considered workers' compensation injuries. The third thing to keep in mind is that you do not have to miss time from work in order for it to count as a workplace injury that could qualify you for benefits under the workers' compensation program. Missing time from work is not required because some of the benefits you're entitled to have nothing to do with lost time from work. There's medical benefits you could get. So you don't necessarily have to miss time from work. And in some cases, you might not miss work right away, but maybe you have an injury that gets worse over time and it may put you out of work some months or years down the road. You still want to report this injury so that it's on the record and in case things get worse in the future, you've you, you are covered for that claim. So there you have it. Those are the two re things that need to be there and the other part that you wanna keep in mind. So the two things are, it, there needs to be some level of medical attention given for the injury or the medical condition that you've developed through the workplace. The second part is that it needs to be tied to your workplace, either in the course of your work or on the physical property of your employer. The third part is don't get hung up on whether you miss time or not from work. If you had to take sick time off, that's not required as long as there was an injury and it was tied to your work. That's all for now. Uh, we'll see you back here next time and take care. Bye-bye.